former championship starter with 4.4 million and only paying him 5.25 thousand pounds a week. Boys and girls, I love free transfers. Hello guys and welcome back to the 30th episode of the FM21 Salford City Save where today we are versing Sunderland and Sheffield United in two crucial games in the league especially considering that we are just on the tail of Oxford and Millwall who are both above us in the league and if we want to be closing that gap we need to start winning some games and a little bit more consistently than we are right now. Since last time out we have done pretty well I will say. We have come away with a win in the Papa John's Trophy, which I think has meant that we're moving on to the next round. Yes, we have officially qualified after just two games, so managerial genius if you want to call me that. And then we came away with a loss against Shrewsbury. Very annoying considering that we just beat them, but that's alright. And then we managed to beat Fleetwood away from home and then Millwall at home. So two good results after that, but... Could have been a little bit better, a bit shaky at the start, but we managed to bring it back. And I think we're ready for this game against Sunderland, who are down in 20th place right now. So, I mean, I feel like this is more for just viewership value, because Sunderland are a big side. But I'm confident that we're going to come away with the win. But Sheffield Wednesday, they're actually a good side. I mean, not that Sunderland aren't, but they, these, these boys, they've been in the championship a lot, actually. They have potentially been robbed of a promotion a few years ago i remember that they'd gone to the playoff promotion final twice in a row so these boys could be in the premier league i think i called them sheffield united before so i apologize for sheffield wednesday fans because i know that that is a big deal um but, so if you haven't un unsubscribed to that already please don't unsubscribe i i apologize for that if i didn't say sheffield united and i did say sheffield wednesday ignore the fact that i've even brought it up but while we're on the topic of subscribing make sure that you have subscribed so that you don't miss daily football manager videos and like this video so that we can keep the support going on this channel can we please get six likes for today's video i feel like that is a generous ask but certainly something that you guys are able to achieve i like to go for those moderate goals the ones that i feel like we can achieve but also very good you know tallies for me but the big move since the last time we have only done one deal and it is george seville i think that is how you pronounce it but this man is looking beautiful even if i am pronouncing his name completely incorrectly he has played for middlesbrough and i'm pretty sure he's been a starter because 36 games is like a whole league season so you don't get 36 games just by it being a rotation player actually we can see here 28 games start eight games off the bench and he had a pretty good kind of good yeah he got one assist it's not great is it but he's he's, he's dropped down a division so hopefully we've found his play his place for him in the league one and I think we've gotten for an absolute steal 5.25 million not million 5.25 thousand pounds a week i mean it's a high wage for us but for a player of his quality i feel like it's definitely worth it his stats aren't outstanding i'm not going to act like they are but i just i feel like there's something about this man that is going to be good for us and it's, i tell you what i'm even going to put him onto double intensity and you know what let's train him as box to box midfielder because he needs to be good in all sort of areas i'd definitely be looking to play him as a box to box midfielder and a mazala on attack so he's got some options for us but without any further ado hopefully we see seville playing in this game let's jump straight into the first game of the episode and i don't really want me to change the tactic that's nice it's refreshing i'm actually gonna no i'm gonna say balance it's been working well lately and i'm you don't mess with a good thing. And uh, Seville was actually on the bench here. We've also got some injuries to Hunt. And uh, Hunter is also just not quite fully match fit. So I'm just resting him once again. We've got Sinclair, Shadibo, Edgehill, Turner, Poigmel, Scowin, De Silva, Cargill, Bolga, Clark, and Eastwood. And I've just reeled that. Uh, I've just reeled. That's not a word. Realized. I forgot to say second half of the word. That Cargill was in the starting lineup and not Brian. So Brian's coming in. And now we can submit the team and hopefully beat Sunderland, fingers crossed. I think that we have played well against them previously. I don't know. I, I know that I've played them a lot, though, because they were in our division last year and then they got promoted with us. So surely we've done well. I, I do remember not wanting them to get promoted, though, because I think they were the best team on paper 
out of all the teams that were potentially going to go up through the playoffs. But ignoring that, this should be a good game. I'm, I'm feeling hopeful. I kind of have made myself a little less confident by talking about that. But we'll, we'll ignore that. And we'll focus on the fact that we got a shot off target and it gave us 0.4 XG. Why we didn't see that chance is beyond me. But i tell you what, at least we didn't miss a goal. 25 minutes on the clock gone. And it looks like we are slightly ahead with a, a lot more position. And a few, well, not any more shots, but more XG. But with that in mind, I'm going to move on to a positive mentality and hopefully see a highlight before the end of the half. And we do. It looks like it could be going Sunderland's way, though. We, cl we clear it out, and Sinclair's on the ball. So this could, could certainly still be our attacking opportunity. And Sinclair is using his pace, plays it into Edge Hill. And just like that, just before halftime, we are 1-0 up in Edge Hill. Again, being the man, popping up, doing magical things. I love him. He is the absolute Jamaican wonder kid. He is as good as Usain Bolt, and I don't know if Usain Bolt is even that good, so that could definitely be an insult. Was that off his knee? He doesn't even need to score with his feet. He can score with every part of his body, including his knee, apparently. Great player. Great finish. He's tired, though. So he might have to come off at some point, but happy with the performance so far, but I'll ask him not to get complacent out there. Ed Schultz not happy about that, so that's kind of even more reason to bring him off. But for now, He's playing well, and that's, you know, the important thing. Turner's done a pretty average header there, gone straight into the path of their goalkeeper. Clear it out, and I'm expecting us to kickstart a counterattack, but not with that, Bulga. A great save by Eastwood. Well, it wasn't that great. It was a pretty terrible shot, but either way, it was needed to be saved, and it was saved very calmly by Eastwood, and we are still one goal up, and, you know, Bulga really not helping us out there. 7.4 rating. Don't know if I completely agree with that especially considering the only highlight I have seen was him losing the ball, but we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. And you know what? I'm going to give the highlight to... Highlight to? That's just not English. I was just, I've still not recorded that much since I got back. you got to cut me some slack. I'm going to give the debut to... So, 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 again, haven't recorded that much. Cut me some slack. Seville, and he's playing in that Mazzala role, and I'm hoping that we see him involved in some highlights as uh, we have one right now, but it definitely could be Sunderland's chance. I thought we were getting a red card there as one of our players lunged in. Don't know if that really should count as an opportunity because nothing seemed to happen there, but we are certainly seeing a little bit more Sunderland dominance, so we're going to make a second substitute, uh, second tactical change. Gosh, the, 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 the words in my mouth just aren't going correctly right now, and I also didn't even mean to bring Brian off. I was trying to do Cargill. Can I, I can undo, right? Yeah, there we go. Cargill is going to come on for Bulger and uh, then switch. No, actually, we'll keep Cargill on the side. What I was saying before was our second tactical change from balance to positive. You, you know what I mean. And by the way, this is a real highlight. It started before I made the tactical changes. Oh, I thought that Savay, Seville, Seville, what's Savay? Why, why Savay? That is not, there's owls in there, man. It's Seville. Oh, he's, he's, he's on, man. He's on. Did, did you see that back leg? No, that's on. Not having it. He's just been robbed of a debut goal. Doesn't matter how you pronounce the name. Either way, he's been robbed. Seville definitely deserves a goal there. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers when it looks like we're going to come away with a win as long as we don't see anything dramatic in the last few seconds. No, we've come away with a 1-0 win. Not the most exciting game of all time. Not the most exciting commentary of all time either because... Apparently, I don't know how to speak English, but we'll definitely take it and that will help us hopefully move up the table into third place. There we go. We're probably not going to stay there for long because Oxford have a game in hand on us. But but we'll, we'll take it for now and certainly hopefully take that momentum with us into the next game. I love how I say certainly, hopefully. Kind of the exact opposite things, but I feel like it makes sense. I'm certain that we're hopeful that we'll come away with another one, and we're going to jump straight into that Sheffield Wednesday game. See, I've said Wednesday this time, right now, and hopefully, once again, I'm certain that we're hopeful that we're going to come away with all three points to keep us moving up the table. Well, I don't know if we've moved up the table. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. I will admit, this game against uh, Sheffield Wednesday is without a doubt a potential form wrecker because they're up in seventh. They're a good side, and we're away from home. And we've been shaky lately. Like, that wasn't the most convincing win. But I, I, I was going to say I'm feeling confident, but I'm actually not. So, fingers crossed, boys and girls. Fingers crossed. I need all the help I can get at this point. This is the squad that we're going with. 
Seville and Hunt have both come in, and uh, that's all the tactical changes we have made. Unfortunately for, uh, what's his name, what's his name, what's his name, Turner, he has been dropped all the way to the reserves, because he just hasn't been that good this year. He's, he's all right, but he just hasn't been exactly the player I was expecting. So he's dropped to the bench. I feel like we have better options. He was in the starting lineup last time out and didn't do much. So with Seville in there now, I'm definitely certain that he is the better player. So hopefully Turner can find his way into the squad. But realistically, as long as we have some solid performances from our midfielders, he's probably not going to be finding too many first team opportunities at the moment. But you never know. You never know. I could be proven wrong. He is an average signing by me, a bit like Boyd Muntz, but... I mean, hopefully we can make some profit on him at some point. And the first opportunity of the game is definitely coming Sheffield Wednesday's game. The Wednesday's way. Gosh, the, the speaking hasn't gotten better after the break. And that save definitely needed to be made by Eastwood. And it looks like they're coming back at, at us straight away. And uh, Morris, I thought that was Marias for a second. I was excited because I thought we were facing a former teammate. But unfortunately, it's just some dude. Morris, but we've picked up the ball here and we could be on our first attack of the game. Edgehill playing it over to Shadipo, can't actually get it to Shadipo. Does look likely that this is going to be their opportunity, but actually, we collected it quite calmly and Hunt has played it into Sinclair. Sinclair back to Hunt. Hunt loses it, but he gets it straight back from a pass from Scowin, I believe that was. Clark cutting inside, not really what I want you to do, but we'll roll with it if we score from it. And it almost led to a goal, a very good save but in the end by the well, it wasn't actually a very good save, it hit the post, and then he almost hit it into the back of the net. It completely scrapped that, well, it was not correct, it was not a good save at all, but either way, it hasn't gone into the back of the net, so the goalkeeper's done his job, and hopefully we get some more opportunities to make him not do his job and let some goals into the back of the net. That would be ideal, especially considering the fact that you know, in football, you need to score goals to win games, and uh, that's that's exactly what Sheffield Wednesday have just done. And uh, we're 1-0 we're down. And it's it's not quite what I was expecting. Well, actually, it is. Because at the start of the game, I literally said that I'm not confident. So this, this is kind of what I asked for, isn't it? We've got only a few more minutes before I'm going to get angry with them at the halftime team talk. But I feel like we can get back into this one fairly comfortably. We are playing well. It's just a matter of getting the ball into the back of the net, which is a lot easier said than done, I will admit. But... I have a, a player in the back pocket that I feel like could make an impact in this game, and that is Smith. I think that he could come on and really light up fireworks. He's played for Sheffield United. He knows the Sheffield boys. So hopefully he can play against the rivals of his former club and pick up a goal. The first opportunity of the second half seems to be going their way, though, but we have cleared it. It has gone straight to them, but we're going to stay positive and hope that we get the ball back very quickly. Itcho has tried to do exactly that, but he, d he didn't quite get it. A ball was whipped in. We clear it out, but it goes straight back to them. Once again, this is looking like it's probably going to be the highlight. It's been going on for quite some time, and normally, by now, we would have gone the ball. And well, I was just, I was living with the fact that we were conceding there, but they've hit the post twice. And I, I now feel slightly better about the fact that we're only 1-0 down. And we haven't played well in the second half at all. But I am saying that just as we get a highlight. So hopefully I can be certainly proved wrong. Certainly proved wrong. What's up with me? And just adding certainly before stuff today. I have no idea what's going on. But I'm certainly certain that that was, that, that was unnecessary. I'm certain that this is probably not going to be our highlight. Certain that I'm not. Uh, probably. Again, kind of contradicting statements. I'm just going to try and stop say certainly. And actually get my English correct. Because... It's, it's, it's becoming embarrassing. I'm a well-educated man, but this is, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty poor. I'm not going to lie. The first substitution is going to be Bulger. But unfortunately, the man's getting tired. Not really what we love to be seeing from one of our star players, but he, it is a bit out of the ordinary. He certainly doesn't get tired most of the time. But I need to focus on the game, actually. We're losing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still focused on our tired player. Scowan can come off, and Hunt's going to come on. Hunter. Sorry, it's... Confusing. We've got too many players with similar names. He's going to move down to a Mazala on support. And we're actually going to go attacking for the last few minutes. And even put Edgehill as a winger on attack. I know. Crazy stuff. Really going for it today. And Smith hasn't exactly had the impact that I know I kind of hyped up. But, you know, well, you win some, you lose some. And today, we won some, we lost some. We didn't draw any, because that's just not within the phrase. But 
I'm definitely not happy with that performance today, but I'm content with where we are in the league. I think we're still up in fourth place, which is exactly where we were at the start. No, we've moved up a place. So, in fact, I've actually banged this episode, realistically. I feel like the League 1 is a bit like the League 2 in the sense that you don't have to be insane. You just have to do better than everyone else and be slightly more consistent than everyone else. So, hopefully, if we keep going in the sort of way that we are right now, we'll come away with the, the championship win. It's not quite going to be a championship win. Swansea are doing very well. And they're clearly the best team in the entire league. They were in the Premier League a few seasons ago, for crying out loud. This is not my fault if they do better than us. But hopefully we can keep going in the exact same way that we have been doing. It's not English. I should just be ending the episode. Please make sure you like this video if you have enjoyed it. For some weird reason, the English has been shocking. But we'll roll with it. And <laughs> make sure you do... Uh, subscribe if you are new around here for daily-ish football manager videos and I'll see you guys back for not sure really not sure probably not that game that looks boring we're probably gonna either win or lose and I'll be too embarrassed to put it on camera so maybe like five games time where's that that's like around here I don't know. I'm not making any promises. When I feel like coming back, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.